Do you have any residents that might want to speak on any particular petition this morning? Come forward and state your name. Which petition you're here to speak on? Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Michael Brandon. I live at 277 Pine Avenue. And I was coming, uh, I believe. Michael, yeah. can you spell your name for the record, please? B R A N B O N. D O N? Yeah, like Marlon Brando. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think it's the first listed item the uh, Porter Square Hotel uh, hookup of um, N Star uh, Power. Uh, which the board at the last meeting approved um, the laying of cables and installation of manholes, but not uh, the connection to the property itself because um, uh, they have not complied with their special permit uh, from the planning board. Um, and I just saw that it was on the agenda again. Uh, I can update the board a little bit to say that, uh, and thank you for uh, delaying that uh, acceptance, um, because the result was that the developer did have a meeting at the site with various neighbors and staff of CDD, um, and subsequently uh, had a meeting, a nighttime meeting, that was uh, a morning uh, soon after uh, your last meeting. Um, had a, a larger meeting um, with um, the neighborhood uh, uh, to um, discuss revisions of their plan and try to explain why they were required, they say, by a uh, utility company to place a large uh, transformer vault and switching apparatus in the middle of what is supposed to be a landscaped, a publicly accessible park, garden park, behind the main building. Um, so that's still in progress. Uh, CDD uh, has decided because that's a change in the plans that were approved by the planning board, or by the staff, they want the issue to go back now to the full planning board for a design review so they can see how they're trying to accommodate this equipment where it is uh, by screening it. Um, uh, so that's just in progress. I just want to make sure that uh, you, know, you would continue to hold up until you get um, the approval uh, verification from the Community Development Department. And as far as you know, it is not going back to the planning board as of yet, is that correct? Uh, that's right, they're still working on the plan. They obviously want to, the developer wants to proceed as soon as possible. Um, but uh, yeah, we're into the holidays, and so even like meeting with the staff, I don't think it's possible. I think Stuart Dash uh, is out of town. So um, I would suspect that's going to happen in January if they can get on, on the schedule, that it will go to the full planning board for a review. Um, hard to say at this point. I mean, some people are content with the plan, talking about neighbors and others. Some are very upset that this reduces the size of this garden. What happened was that originally, um, they designed the hotel uh, and tried to get a series of variances to allow it. And the Board of Zoning Appeals said, no, this does not qualify for a zoning, uh, for you know, variances that would amount to a, an actual rezoning of the area, which is in the purview of the City Council. So the developer's architect went to the City Council and convinced them to alter the zoning to allow this hotel with parking garage in the residential zone behind the hotel, where normally it would, would previously wouldn't have been allowed. Uh, so it's allowed, but the stipulation in the in the new zoning is that that be uh, an at grade open green space accessible to the public and plans with public input. So 
when these uh, uh, transformer vaults, uh, switching vaults, um, were placed in in the middle of this park, people or what planned part, people were upset. So, um, but I think with this board's help in you know delaying the hookup, that's gotten them moving because they have said, well, we already planned it, and we can't do anything, and um, we're refusing uh, or declining to meet with the neighborhood. So at least there's a process going on that, you know, I think eventually there'll be a, a consensus about how to go forward, and the planning board will agree to it. Um, and then the, the bigger question that some of us will pursue is the whole question of how uh, transformers are placed where they are uh, when it's on private property. Because uh, this happens all over. Even I think I mentioned last time the case of the Mass Ave Remington Hotel. Mass Ave Hotel. Yeah, 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 the Veritas Hotel. Thank you. Uh, where it happened, and the, and the uh, wasn't the planning board. It was the historical commission that it done extensive planning work, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> to maintain the historicity uh, and the integrity, all of a sudden this you know, large vault put in right on Mass Ave, in front of the, the, the new built, the, the refurbished building. So, um, uh, I don't know if we go through the city council to ask the city manager to coordinate a system where all the departments have a sign-off uh, yeah, just so there's a, uh, an administrative process, so this doesn't keep happening. Um, but I think that's an issue for another day yeah. at this point. Yeah, and it's, but, it's uh, only peripherally for sorry. this this board. Sure. Um, I had one question, and maybe I got a call from a neighbor who said uh, she saw a surveyor working um, in front of 1900 Mass Ave, which is the property next to um, the commuter rail track retainer wall. Um, and if you recall, I believe there was, for redundancy, there was a uh, uh, conduit being laid up in that direction uh, to serve the hotel. And the question was, would, would it be possible that that had to do with this? That, that was, uh, that they were proposing yeah. to run that for redundancy and then some further um, discovery. discovery on that, they found they had adequate conduit available, so that portion from Porter Road towards the commuter rail was uh, not approved and taken off this petition. Oh, did that happen at, at the last? Uh, that, that happened between the last, uh, that happened between the uh, November, the October and the November hearing, mm -hmm. uh, through some discussion of that whole that whole project. Oh, okay. Uh, and that, at, at that time is when we took it out of the street also and had them go on the sidewalk for the other section, right. which was approved. And um, they, they've, I think in, uh, they've installed that. I know it. I believe installed yeah, that. Either that um, or it's still underway. But the, the section that was to go from <coughs> Porter Road towards the commuter rail will not, it, it was, was not needed. It was determined it was not needed. Okay, because it's, I think it, it's still listed on the. Uh, the agenda here. Uh, yeah, maybe, but the, the, the plan that was submitted. Um, Did they submit a new plan? They, they submitted a new plan for the last hearing, which shows the, uh, which, which excludes that section going towards the computer. Room. might have seen is the contractor had the old plant, the one that the plan they had planned in hand that was denied. Well and that was changed on site. Let me site. just see what I have, if I may. Let me just ask, is there anyone here for the petitioner on this matter? I don't see anyone. And I think that's because they knew they had, I mean I I I assumed it wouldn't be on the agenda unless you know, they had the, the materials that you were 
requested the approval, and I think you may have asked to see a copy of their plan. Yeah, the survey you mentioned was it a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, that, you, that your neighbor or, or saw the survey going on? Uh, I think it was this week. Might have been so, asked, but the contractor had an, uh, the original. Yeah, plan I, thought that I would have done it before. We saw him on site. We met him on site before they started digging, and they uh, we gave him the right plan. So that, that, I'm guessing that's what you probably saw. Her. Yeah. And, uh, there it is. Uh, oh, there could be well, there could be okay. surveys out there for future. Plan. There could be surveys out there for future that they're tying. No, this was on. This is together. a copy of the acceptance from your November meeting. And I'm not great at technical uh, drawings, but I think it shows both. This was this was the, the denied petition, and then they were asked to submit a, a uh, revision, which they did. Okay. Well, I can get that then from your office. I don't think that we ever received it. So that's what I was just looking for. I knew that was it, so. Yeah. You knew it was this. Um, that is the. The old one, yeah. That might have been actually from October, the month before, the one you have, sir. Uh, that, that was that's, yeah, that's the plan from October, but uh, it, it was attached to what you accepted on November 19th. Yeah, the section that was excluded. Okay. Or denied. So we need to, we need to So we'll get that updated. So, uh, okay, so that won't occur. Uh, we don't know if that survey recently had anything to do with this project. She had, she had asked the surveyor what was going on, and he didn't know. Um, all right, so uh, may see you then in uh, January uh, if uh, they move forward quickly enough. I would think maybe more likely February. Thank you very much for your help. You. <coughs> so on the, on the first petition is uh, Eversource or is there someone here from Eversource or Porter Square Hotel? I don't see any. Nope. So move to continue. Seconded. Do you want to continue to the next meeting or until it continue indefinitely until they come back with further information? I'd like to put a, a, give a deadline to, or, or a time, goal anyway. Yeah. Not, I because I, I did actually check with CDD, and they do want them to come back to the planning board. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that, as Mr. Brandon said, that has not yet occurred. So I don't think this board would want to be giving any approval no. until the planning board has put their uh, stamp of approval on things. We say it. And that would take it off the agenda until they bring it until forward. Until they bring it forward. So I make a motion to table the first petition for Porter Square Hotel and Eversource. Second. Second. 